friends, welcome to the Blueprint Nursing YouTube channel. My name is Abby and today we'll be reviewing ventilators. Let's get started. Before we jump in, what is a ventilator? It's a medical device used to assist clients with their breathing when they're unable to adequately do so on their own. Ventilators are commonly used in hospitals, particularly in ICU settings, to support clients with respiratory distress, respiratory failure, lung disease, and other conditions that impair their ability to breathe. How does a ventilator work? A ventilator is a machine that delivers breathable air to a client's lungs. The air is delivered via a tube that can be inserted into one of three places. The tube can be placed via intubation into the mouth or nose, most commonly the mouth, or via a surgical opening in the neck known as a tracheostomy. There are a few different modes of ventilation depending on the client's needs and conditions. The most common modes of ventilation are assisted control, or AC, synchronized intermittent mandatory ventilation, known as SIMV, and pressure support, or PS. Each ventilator will also have different settings that will be preset by the respiratory therapist and the healthcare provider. A few terms we should know before diving deeper into the modes are tidal volume, rate, fraction of inspired oxygen, or FiO2, peak airway inspiratory pressure, or PIP, and positive end expiratory pressure, or PEEP. Tidal volume is the volume of air being delivered with each breath. Rate is the number of breaths being delivered per minute. FiO2 is the percentage of oxygen within the air that's being delivered to the client. This can range from 21%, or the amount of oxygen that's in our air normally, also known as room air, to 100% oxygen. PIP is the pressure used by the ventilator to deliver a set tidal volume, and it's the highest pressure reached during inspiration. Last is PEEP. This is the positive pressure exerted during expiration. Think of PEEP as what helps keep the lungs open during a ventilation cycle. Okay, now that we've got that covered, let's review the most common modes of ventilation. ACV or assist control ventilation. Think of this as total support mode. In this mode, the ventilator takes over complete work of breathing for the client. It delivers a tidal volume at a set rate, but the client can trigger additional breaths as needed. Now on to SIMV. SIMV is similar to AC in that there is a set tidal volume and a set rate. The difference is that with SIMV, the client can breathe spontaneously at their own rate and volume in between the ventilator breaths. This mode can be used as a main ventilatory mode or as a weaning mode. Last up, pressure support. Pressure support ventilators are only used in clients who are already spontaneously breathing on their own. This mode only provides a set airway pressure and a peep, but there is no set tidal volume and the client is taking their own breaths. Now let's take a second to review monitoring, alarms, and the weaning process. Remember all of those terms we reviewed like tidal volume and rate? Well, ventilators continuously monitor to ensure the client is getting enough support. Ventilators have alarm systems built in to notify the healthcare team to changes in the client's condition or equipment malfunctions. You do not want to ignore these alarms. These alarms can include low oxygen levels, high pressure in the airways, or the tube disconnecting. Lastly, weaning. When a client's conditions continue to improve, the ventilator settings can be reduced to allow the client to breathe more and more on their own. Weaning aims to eventually remove the client from the ventilator altogether. That wraps up our review on ventilators. As one extra question to finish this off, what does PEEP stand for? Positive end expiratory pressure. Great job. Here are our references. As always, thank you so much for reviewing ventilators with me today. Don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on all things Blueprint Nursing content reviews and check out our TikTok live study sessions, crash course, and live NCLEX study groups. See you next time.